This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so today I'm going to um, give the introduction about Salesforce. So what is Salesforce? And uh, once we join in the job, what exactly we are going to do? And maybe there are many people who don't know about Salesforce. So I need to cover, consider all the different kind of people. Okay, so already if you are, if you have some understanding about Salesforce, just uh, maybe for you, again, one more time, try to understand how it is. Okay, so before we understand about Salesforce, we should know about the cloud computing. Okay, one of the concept. The reason is Salesforce is based on the cloud computing concept. So here, cloud computing means everything we do in the internet, such kind of process we call as cloud computing. Okay, so everything in the sense, using the application, developing the application, distributing the hardware, all kind of uh, different uh, uh, things we can do directly through internet. So here, cloud means nothing but internet. The pictorial representation of the internet is Cloud. Okay, so when I say cloud computing, it is internet computing. Directly, as soon as you have internet, no need to install any any software, anything. As soon as we have internet, we can log into uh, log into the account provided by the company who is providing the service, and uh, directly using the application, developing the application, and also distributing the hardware all those activities we can do okay so here cloud computing is a uh, cloud computing is a concept okay like uh, programming so when you say programming next question which programming right so people ask java or dotnet or python so we have to say one of the programming languages in the same way cloud computing is a concept approach so when you say I'm working for cloud computing, it won't be more meaningful. Okay, so based on the cloud computing concept, there are many companies in the market. They are providing some of the features. Okay, so uh, one of the examples of Salesforce is one of the company. Amazon is one of the company. Google, Microsoft, all those are the companies. By following the cloud computing approach, they are offering some of the services in the market okay so here mainly with the cloud computing so there are three um, different uh, types of services software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service there are three services can be offered with the cloud computing so software as a service means on day to day we use any web application whatever we use we can consider software as a service so facebook company they are offering facebook application if someone like to use facebook they can register and use the facebook right so facebook without internet we cannot open that website and access right it is based on the cloud it's based on the internet okay without internet we cannot access this we can consider as a software as a service in the same way, Google, Gmail, Twitter, so all those we can consider as software as a service. And platform as a service means some of the companies, they provide the application and also they provide the platform to modify the application as per the client requirements. So Facebook, for example, Facebook, when you register for Facebook, we can log in and use the Facebook but I cannot modify as per what I need. But some of the companies, they provide the applications and also provide the platform where no need to install anything. Directly log into their website and do the development and enhance the applications, whatever the company offers. Or we can also develop the new applications by using the cloud-based platform. Right? So no need to install anything. Directly log in and uh, develop and uh, so uh, use the application. So such kind of service we call as platform as a service. 
Next one, infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure means hardware. Okay. So, infrastructure to provide companies, they maintain the servers. Okay. Server looks like this. In server, you see terabytes of memory, RAM, processor installed. And uh, virtually through internet, the companies will distribute. For example, on day to day, so we use the uh, Gmail, Google Drive. So by default, uh, Google company provides 15 GB memory for Google Drive. So let's say I want 100 GB. They'll provide, but they'll charge, right? So if you are ready to pay, they'll allocate 100 GB or one terabyte, whatever you want, okay? So when they provide 100 GB, so where they are maintaining that hardware, Google company, they have to maintain the server like this, which looks like this. They maintain hundreds of servers like this based on the client requirement. If one of the user needs 100 GB, they'll allocate 100 GB and charge for that. Maybe some other user needs one terabyte, they will allocate and charge for that. So what is the advantage with the cloud space? If you, wherever you go, even though your system is not available, as soon as the internet is there, you can log in and access your information, right? And also, no need to worry about a failing hard drive or anything, right? So Google will take care of maintaining our information without losing. Even if the server crash, they maintain the backup, right? So that is the reason nowadays, uh, so many companies, many people to avoid losing the data, they are keeping in the cloud space, right? So Google company, through Google Drive, they are offering the hardware as a service. In the same way, there are other companies like Amazon. You might hear about Amazon Web Services. So Amazon company, they provide uh, hardware for the companies. So based on the company need, they can uh, purchase the hardware and uh, Amazon will allocate that hardware and charge for that. Okay, so the advantage is, let's say there is a company. So they have a basic server. Okay, so in festival season, they want more bandwidth for the server, more space in the hardware. So instead of buying the entire new hardware, which is very expensive, they will take the rent from Amazon. Okay, they will pay for Amazon and uh, they will uh, access the services, whatever additional bandwidth they want. So that way, so they can um, only pay for what they want. And later, if they don't want, they can so decrease their bandwidth what they need, right? So those kind of advantages are there. So these kind of services also can be offered through cloud computing. Okay. So now, before we start understanding what Salesforce is going to provide, all these cloud-based uh, um, applications, right? Either Salesforce or Amazon or Microsoft, Google. So all those companies, by following the cloud computing concept, they are providing the services. The architecture of the cloud computing is multi-tenant architecture. So that means, uh, tenant means who stay for rent, right? Multi-tenant. So multiple uh, companies or multiple people can share the same thing. So one of the example, on day to day, let's say I want to buy one of the house we have the option to buy individual house and also the apartment flat, right? So why people purchase apartment flat? It is cheaper, right? So if you want to buy the individual house, it is expensive. And maybe most of the people cannot uh, uh, afford for that. So that's why people are buying the apartment flat. But when you buy the apartment flat, we have to compromise on few things. Okay, so you will be having a dedicated flat, but few things you will be sharing. Let's say power, water, and a common um, play areas, and uh, maybe gym or something, right? So we have to share with the other um, flats in the apartment, okay? But you are getting for cheaper price, right? And also whoever is selling this uh, apartments, the builder, Builder also will gain more profit because the land is uh, so within the same land, uh, builder is going to construct 10 floors or 20 floors. 
and uh, selling the multiple flats the revenue whatever builder gets is very huge and as a customer whatever we are paying is very less both vendor who is providing the service and the, the customer who is taking the service both are uh, profitable right both are getting the profit cloud computing also same concept okay so in our previous example server so google purchase one of the server and this server they are not going to allocate only for one of the company or one of the user okay so if a company requests some hardware or one of the user requests hardware from the same server they will distribute to different uh, users different uh, companies right and uh, if there is remaining bandwidth in the server they will also give for some other company or some other user right so they have only one server but they are distributing the services to multiple companies multiple users in the uh, market so that way whatever they gain is more right whatever as a user we are paying is less if you want to buy the new server it is very very expensive so both whoever is providing the service whoever is the taking service both are benefit so that's the concept of the cloud computing that's why if someone want to start services based on the cloud computing companies are showing interest to launch the products with the cloud computing and also customer they are interested to take the cloud computing services because so it is very quick and uh, also it's very cheaper okay they can get so that's the main concept that's why cloud computing is booming in the market okay so once we understand that so now we have to know about salesforce salesforce is one of the software company having headquarters in san francisco okay so they started this company with the uh, so with the no software with that concept okay no need to install any software in the local system everything through internet as soon as you have internet you can log in and you can access your information so with that concept salesforce started a company so this company by following the cloud computing concept right so through offering services through cloud computing so so by using that they are offering two types of services software as a service and uh, platform as a service as a software as a service they are providing salesforce crm applications salesforce is very famous for crm so what is crm i will explain in next slides okay so as a software salesforce is offering crm applications and also to modify those applications or to develop the new applications salesforce is also offering platform as a service that platform name we call as force.com platform okay so when you start working for a salesforce company we have to understand salesforce offers two services based on the cloud computing one service they are providing the crm applications any client if they register immediately they get the crm applications and they can use the crm applications and also by using the force.com platform offered by the salesforce company they can modify those applications whatever salesforce provides and also if needed we can also develop the new applications okay by using the force.com platform to use this platform no need to install anything directly like a gmail how you register we register for salesforce login and uh, do the development directly okay and also deploy so everything is based on the cloud okay so that's why their concept is providing the applications plus platform to make the customer happy to achieve their requirements so that's the concept so now what are these crm applications first we need to understand and uh, after that by using the force.com platform what exactly we do those things we should know right so first uh, crm crm full form is customer relationship management so that is the full form 
So when you deal with any business on day to day, if you think of any business, business needs CRM. We also maintain, so as part of the CRM on day to day business, so what is the data needed to be captured in the application in a meaningful way that will be managed in the CRM, okay? So maybe here, uh, let me give a few examples to understand about it. okay? Uh, so let's say when you deal with any kind of business, so think about, let's say, Dell company, okay? So Dell is a company, this company sells laptops and uh, maybe different, different uh, computer accessories, right? It's a product-based company. Right. This company sells products, maybe the laptops and the mouse and the different computer accessories. OK, so this company, how they use CRM. OK, so first of all, how do you know about Dell product? By seeing some advertisements, right? maybe paper advertisements, TV advertisements. So any company, if they want to introduce their product into market, First, they need to start with the campaign. So here at high level to understand pre-sales, that means before selling the product in each and every stage, what is the information they capture? And after selling the product, post to sales, that is also important. So let's say after selling the Dell laptop, if there is a problem with the Dell laptop, so as a user, so we have to raise the ticket with the customer support of the Dell. They have to take care of providing the support if it is under warranty without any charge, right? So those kind of things fall under post sales activities, right? As part of the pre-sales before selling in each and every stage, how the information will be captured. The first uh, process is to introduce the product in the market, advertisements should be given. So assume that there is a table called campaign. Technically, we call that as campaign, right? So campaign means uh, advertisement, okay? Different, different, maybe there can be multiple advertisements, right? So not only single advertisement, maybe paper advertisements. Let's say any company, if they want to launch a product in the market, they allocate some budget. So let's say Dell company is introducing new laptop in the market. For the marketing, the budget is $20,000. Okay, they'll spend that $20,000, maybe paper advertisements, TV advertisements, internet advertisements, maybe sponsoring for one of the event. In different ways, they'll spend. So how they are spending? All that information they maintain in a table called campaign. Okay, so that's the one of the data how they capture as part of the business. Due to the advertisements, what is the advantage for the Dell company? Maybe people in the market, they'll start looking for that product and purchase that product, right? So let's say directly Dell company, they cannot sell the laptop directly to the end user. Let's say I want laptop. Maybe it's not that we are not going to directly buy from Dell. We go to one of the shop or through online, we buy. Right in online also some vendors, some distributors and the retailers from the Dell, they will sell, right? So maybe one of the distribution company, one of the retail company, so they want to sell the latest laptop of the Dell, okay? So let's say, so due to these advertisements, some companies in the market, they will respond and they will try to take the bulk, huge amount of uh, laptops, huge quantity of the laptops and sell in the market. Okay, so what about the responses comes based on this advertisement will be captured in one of the table called the lead. Right, lead is a person who is working in a company. So let's say there is a uh, distribution company in Bangalore. Okay, that company want thousand quantity of the latest Dell laptop. Okay. So let's say company name is ABC Limited. Okay, one of the person from that company will respond to this advertisement. 
okay so so it's not that uh, really that person is going to buy thousand laptops for that company or not. just they are doing some inquiry to know what is the price and all those things okay so the leads when the lead is captured in the lead you see the person information right personal information plus the company information in which company that person is working so for their company they want thousand laptops okay so that will be captured as leads like that many leads will be generated so many companies behalf of the company employees will try to respond to these advertisements okay so now once the lead is captured into Dell crm right this is Dell salesforce CRM. assume that it is Dell crm so from Dell company they have some marketing employees who can call to these persons in that company and they check whether really they are interested or not okay so maybe sometimes uh, some people they say maybe they change their mindset they don't want to proceed further then they'll stop contacting some person say call me after one week again Dell company employees they keep the reminder again call some of the leads they say they are interested they want to know more about the product and the price and the other details right so then lead will be converted into account and uh, contact and opportunity okay so here account means when the lead is showing interest when it is converted so when you say it is converted into account whatever the company information is there company information will be captured into account right we'll separate the information from lead whatever the company specific information is there we store in account one of the table whatever the personal information is there that we store in the contact in one of the table contact is a person who is working in the company so account is a company behalf of that company contact means one of the person employee dealing with this maybe this one of this uh, contact is not well or on leave right some other employee from the company will deal for this company right so for one company there can be multiple contacts okay those things going forward we'll see okay for now so when the lead is converted account means company specific information will be captured into account personal specific information will be captured into contact and uh, deal what they want so why they are responding so they need thousand quantity of the till latest laptop that's the deal right so till latest thousand quantity laptops and that's the deal that's the opportunity so opportunity is nothing but deal right you can say it is deal okay so now it's not that once the opportunity is generated they are going to buy right the next phase they ask for the quotation and they ask what kind of support they are providing so the sales team from the Dell company they have to convince this whatever the abc limited whatever the company they have to convince and uh, they have to close the deal successfully okay so somehow this company is not convinced with the pricing and uh, whatever the features this company is offering they won't take okay maybe they will lose the opportunity if they like then they will take so that means uh, opportunity will be closed successfully for the dell company and the money will be generated for Dell, right that ABC Limited company purchased a thousand laptops. Okay, so that's what will happen. Okay, so just uh, understand. So now, if you see, until selling the product in each and every phase, uh, um, in each and every phase, what is happening can be captured like this. Okay, so now the next next phase, once after buying the laptop, they will again sell to the end user one of the user in the market and uh, let's say there is a problem with the laptop they will directly approach the dell customer support so when there is any support activity from the dell company right 
so they create a case so here in crm case means support activity so it might not be a problem right maybe installation request right so let's say uh, sometimes for some products there is a need of installation one time installation right so after purchasing the product one of the technician will come and install right that is a support activity there is a problem with the product that is a support activity right let's say they want some bill again any any support activity for the dell company will be captured as a case in the cr okay and also solution so what is the solution to close a particular case so uh, also maybe they publish some knowledge articles right nowadays knowledge articles you see sometimes when we face some problem we are not going to directly call to customer care we search in google and if you find some helpful article we read it and we solve our problem ourselves to make such kind of articles available maybe we also maintain knowledge articles in salesforce so that uh, when the customers if they face any problem they can look into those articles and try to resolve so at high level this is the information will be captured as part of the crm okay crm is nothing but this process okay whatever i have explained is at high level high level all these things we should know maybe when you deal with other technologies also almost the same process maybe slightly different uh, terminology okay but the process is same just understand okay now this is one of the example right maybe some companies they won't offer product they provide only service for example i'm using airtel internet okay so airtel company they are providing internet services right that is not a product that's a service monthly basis we need to pay and uh, so that continue the service right so that company also airtel internet this company also needs crm right how we know about airtel internet there are many other internet service providers in the market so they give advertisements same way same process they give advertisements so let's say one of the software company needs internet for 100 employees in one of the branch that company one of the employee from that company will respond for the airtel advertisement and also airtel company talk to that software company and uh, let's say if they are interested to know more about that the lead can be converted into account contact and opportunity that software company name will be captured as account and uh, who is dealing in that uh, company that person name as contact and opportunity what they want internet for 100 employees right so that is a deal okay so and also after taking if the internet is not working again they will call and they have to provide the support right if you think about any business right business needs the crm for sure mostly right so that's why salesforce is mainly focusing on the crm and uh, one of the as a software as a service salesforce is offering crm okay now if you want to divide this into different different applications okay so in the companies there are different uh, categories of employees so marketing team okay so companies maintain marketing representatives okay the marketing team deals with campaigns which kind of advertisement we need to give so how they generate the leads so those strategies will be implemented by the marketing team marketing team responsibility is generating the giving the advertisements and generating the leads for the company and uh, convincing those leads to proceed further right so once the opportunity is generated it's the responsibility of the sales rep right sales reps needs to talk to the customer and convince and close the deal successfully that's the main purpose of the 
sales reps. But while dealing here, they might refer to, they might need to refer this opportunity for which company, who is the point of contact for that company. So some information commonly needed for all these type of categories of employees. Okay. So simply Salesforce say this is a marketing application. And mainly when you are dealing with opportunity, we say sales application. And also the case, right? Call center team, the support team, they will work with this support representatives, right? So this is a service application. Salesforce says that it is service application, right? We can divide the CRM process into these categories and uh, these different teams will work for the CRM. Okay. So this is about CRM. Maybe same thing in the PPT. I'm trying to explain here. So let me show you the slides. Okay, so first campaign campaign launching a product or service in the market. Maybe right uh, holdings internet advertisements paper advertisements campaign sponsoring for some of the events all those are different advertisements due to the campaign leads will be generated lead is some inquiry someone who might be interested about the product or service so they have to deal with the lead so how they capture the lead nowadays maybe lead might call to the company number or might visit the website and fill the form. Nowadays, uh, live chat, when the customer visit the website, they do the live chat and try to capture the details. In different ways, leads will be captured into the CRM. Once the lead is captured, so the company marketing team, they will talk and uh, they will convince and convert as a uh, customer. Right? So that means the lead will be converted into account. So account, is the company information in lead whatever the company specific information is there so that company information will be captured into account whatever the employee information is there in the lead will be captured into contact opportunity is a deal so what they want okay it's not that opportunity is generated they are going to buy next to they ask for the quotation okay so if they charge more or if they quote more, customer won't be happy. They won't take, right? So let's say if the quotation is good and uh, if the customer is happy, they will buy, right? So once after buying, the next phase is support, right? If the product or service, if something, some problem, so we can call to the customer care and uh, the company will create a case in the CRM. So someone support team, they will work and try to close the case as soon as possible. Okay. And the solutions and knowledge articles will be published. Okay. So this is the process of the CRM. Okay. So now before we understand about the force.com, any questions about the CRM? Whatever I have explained so far. Any questions? Sir, the CRM or so digital marketing and all that is as part of the advertisement okay so campaigns right campaigning can be also digital marketing right so you can invest for facebook ads google ads maybe twitter ads you can that is a digital marketing as part of the campaign okay so now, uh, any other questions, anyone so far? Okay. So now let's understand about the force.com platform. Okay. So along with these applications, Salesforce is offering the platform. Using this platform, what we can do? We can enhance the applications, whatever Salesforce is providing. Salesforce is mainly providing marketing, sales, and the service applications those applications by using the platform this platform technically we call as force.com platform suppose in our local system if you install java right you see it creates the jvm on jvm runtime right so 
the java code will be executed so like that so this is already installed in the salesforce server by default salesforce take care of installing in their server all our job is log into salesforce and do the development on their platform okay so it's like that okay on this platform so what exactly we can do okay by using this platform so whatever the salesforce is offering mainly sales maybe marketing sales and the service these three applications right so these three applications they are offering as part of the flat software as a service right software as a service as part of this they are offering this applications in the platform so what we can do by default they provided some configuration tools point and click tools by using the point and click tools we can enhance these applications whatever salesforce is offering okay so for everything no need to do the coding okay so there is a declarative part right configuration by using those configuration tools without writing any code we can achieve some of the client requirements okay uh, that's why that part in salesforce we call as administration right administration means by using the point and click tools provided by salesforce if you achieve some requirements that we call as admin administration some of the requirements of the client we cannot achieve with the point and click tools we have to write the code okay so that part we call as customization right so customization we also call as development okay so mainly on the platform anyway these configuration tools are also like uh, like applications internally these will also run on the platform okay but uh, here with the point and click tool we can achieve the requirement without writing any code but when you go with the customization as a developer we have to write the code and we need to work so for this there is a syllabus right so in my website look into the full syllabus what we discuss okay for development also you can see the syllabus at high level as part of the development in salesforce so we are like a full stack developer okay we touch all the layers of the uh, application okay when you say there is an application so there is a website let's say this is one of the website so we have the ui right the web page we are seeing as a end user we are seeing this page so this ui layer right the web page and once you interact with the ui let's say i entered something here and click on login internally some logic will be executed right the business logic based on the interaction on the page when you click on a button or when you do some action on the page internally some logic business logic will be executed and also that will interact with the database let's say here when i entered username and password it is saying it is wrong right so how it knows internally this business logic it will check it will make the call to database and verify username is present or not username and password is matching or not there is a mismatch that's why it is throwing the error right it will interact with the database right as a developer on salesforce platform we deal with everything we need to develop the ui we need to work on the business logic we also need to write the commands but all are at basic level okay not much complex like java or dot net other technologies okay at basic level okay so as part of the ui so mainly specific to salesforce so we have visual force ara and lwc so these are some frameworks to develop the ui and uh, 
to write the business logic, there is a, a programming language called Apex. We use Apex. And uh, to deal with the commands, we have SOQL, SOSL, and DML. So more about these things, when we start with the development, I'll explain in more detail, OK? So for now, so just I'm explaining so what to what we are going to touch, OK? So as part of the platform, so these are the things we are going to do, OK? So once we get the job in Salesforce, either to achieve the client requirements, we need to do configuration tools. Those things we discuss as part of the administration. Some of the requirements we can achieve with development. For that, we need to know about these things. So these concepts we'll discuss as part of the development. OK, so that's about the Salesforce software as a service and the platform as a service. So now the next point. Why is Salesforce? OK. What is the advantage, right? What are the advantages of Salesforce when compared to other technologies? Let's say a CRM application also can be developed with Java, right? Why companies they are looking for Salesforce? So let's say Java. Company decided to develop the CRM application with the Java, right? So when you say we are developing one application, the application needs UI, right? The web pages, the user can understand only the meaningful web pages. And also needs business logic based on the interaction, some business logic needs to be executed. And also it needs to uh, get the data or maybe store the data into database, right? Database is needed. And to store all these things, right? Whatever the web page development they are doing, whatever the code they are doing, whatever the data they are storing in database, to hold that they need memory, right? If you store in a laptop or some local system, it's like it is for a company we are developing, right? Hundreds of thousands of employees need to use this application. It is not good. Right, so when there is a huge hardware needed, so we need the server. We can also use our laptop as a server. As an individual, it will work. But when you work for a company, since they need huge hardware, they need server. Right, so the company also needs a server. Right, server which is connected to internet, so that from anywhere the employees of the company they can log in and access. Right. So, but Java here, Java is only for business logic, right? Only the business logic layer we develop using Java. So, for UI, again, there is a separate team needed for UI development. There is a separate team needed to install a specific database like Oracle and SQL Server. They have to use some software to organize the data in the database. They need a dedicated team for that. And also, they have to purchase a server to hold all this huge information. Okay, so initial investment is very huge. They have to pay for UI team, Java team, database team. They have to purchase a server based on the size. It might be in lakhs or even millions of uh, rupees. Right. So it's like that. So huge initial investment when you go with the Java, right? And also, minimum it takes six months to have the basic application. Minimum six months for basic, right? Not with all features, basic uh, CRM app, right? So these are the some of the problems. So same thing. So what is the advantage when you go with Salesforce? Within, within a minute, Within a few minutes, the client, the customer who want to have account, who want to have CRM, they will get it. So for example, so let's say this Dell company needs a CRM, right? So let's say one of the person from Dell company, let's say 
Pavan is one of the person and the five team members in the company. They need to get the CRM for the Dell company, right? So, so what they'll do first, uh, they know that Salesforce CRM is number one, number one platform in the market. So they go to Salesforce website, okay? And also there are different Salesforce editions available. They can look into those editions. If needed, they can talk to the Salesforce sales team. If you see after opening this website immediately, you'll see a pop-up. As soon as we say hi, immediately they'll schedule a call and uh, they'll explain about the product, okay? So let's say after talking to them, so Delhi is a big company. They want to manage their sales and also service, both. There are different editions, right? So let's say after talking to sales for sales team, they told that uh, unlimited edition is suitable. Sorry. So then they can say try for free, click on try for free, fill the form and save. Within a minute, they'll get, right? Within a few seconds, they'll get email, check the email, set the password and log, right? So immediately they will be gaining access to the Salesforce account. So now as a Salesforce, right? In Salesforce, so when you deal with Salesforce, right? Salesforce, in general, whenever one of the person from the company registered, Salesforce provide a space in one of the Salesforce server. Okay, that we call as production. So this is Salesforce till production environment, right? So here, all these things will be provided by default, right? By default, default UI. So no need to develop anything. As soon as you log in, you will see the standard screens developed by Salesforce. When you interact with those screens internally, there is a built-in business logic developed by Salesforce. There is an inbuilt mechanism where you can store into database and read the data from the database. There is an inbuilt space from Salesforce server. From one of the Salesforce server, they will distribute some, some of the hardware for this company, whoever registered, right? Everything as a ready-made, built-in within a minute, company will get. And also that too for free, free for 30 days. They can explore and understand about the platform for 30 days. Really, if they like, they'll continue. Otherwise, they can discontinue, right? So that much flexibility is there, okay? So that's the one of the huge advantages when compared to the other technologies. So that's why, right, there is no initial investment, right? Even a company having three employees also, they can easily try and see, understand and how it works. And we can also maybe take the license if needed, right? So it's like that. So that is one of the advantages when compared to other technologies. And also one of the other advantages, the security, right? So here, one of the person from the company registered, right? So after registering to log into Salesforce, so we need to open a website called login.salesforce.com. This security, right, will be taken care by Salesforce, right? All maybe with the latest uh, security, they will be taken care of maintaining that. We don't need to bother about the user security from the external people. Okay, that is one of the advantages. And also, once you log into the account, so maybe company means it's not that only one user is going to use. Let's say going forward, thousand Dell employees is going to use CRM. Internal security between those thousand employees, who can see which application? Let's say marketing team should see only marketing application. Sales team needs to see sales application. The internal security also will be, we have configuration options to apply the internal security. So for that, no need to write any code, nothing, right? With the configuration, we can apply the internal security between the users. That is also a very huge uh, advantage from the 
Salesforce platform. And also, no maintenance. That means whenever there is a new release, for example, .NET or Java, if there is a new release, dedicated team need to work on the upgrade. And uh, so a lot of uh, impact on, um, so huge time will be taken to upgrade to the latest version. But Salesforce, it's based on the cloud. Salesforce will take care of updating to the latest version. Okay. So in general, uh, you see, so mainly three versions. Okay, daily, I mean, every every year Salesforce, they release three versions. So at present, uh, uh, summer 21 version is going on. And uh, in few weeks, winter 22 version, Salesforce is launching, right? For sure, every year, there are three versions. So versions will start from winter. Winter 22, spring 22, summer 22. Those are the upcoming versions. After that, again, winter 23, they'll continue like that. So whenever Salesforce release the new version, Salesforce will automatically update in the server. From our side, as a customer of the Salesforce, no need to do anything. No need to upgrade from our side manually. Salesforce will take care of updating manually. So one day you log into Salesforce, you will start seeing the new features. It's like Facebook, Twitter. In Facebook, if you log in, one day maybe you see some new features. Right? Internally, they update it. Same way, same thing will happen for Salesforce also. That is also one of the huge advantages. And the inbuilt database. No need to install some Oracle or SQL Server database and manage from our side. Salesforce provides a inbuilt database. They only install and provide. All we need to use, use it. Right? And also no hardware. As soon as you have internet, you can access the services of the Salesforce. You can access using desktop or mobile smartwatch also you can access. Okay. So these are the advantages when compared to the other technologies. Okay. So just uh, understand this process. Okay. So, so far, any questions, anyone? Sir, do we see versions? Yeah. So if they update, let's say in one of the new release, if they update, if there is a impact to our existing application, whatever we have, that is like a platform issue. We can create a case to sales for support and they have to resolve. So those things will happen. That will be there. Yeah, any questions, anyone so far? Uh, so this yeah, is so is yeah. Is it, uh, uh, sorry, can you come again? So do you have any domain constraints for using this Salesforce application? I mean, can it be used across the industries like banking, pharmaceutical, retail? Do you have any, yeah. I mean, are yeah, we restricted yeah. the Salesforce application to particular industry or something? Yeah, I understood. Yeah, so any, any industry can use, right? There are many customers from banking sector capital marketing, financial, right? So Bank of America is one of the customer for Salesforce, right? So there are many, uh, so almost all industries using Salesforce. It is not domain specific, okay? And also Salesforce acquired one of the partner company. That means, uh, so Salesforce is having a um, platform, right? So by using this platform, some of the companies can develop their own product. That is possible. So there is a company called Velocity. That company developed some of the industry specific, right? So for example, healthcare industry, for example, telecom industry. So industry specific applications are developed by one of the company called Velocity on the Salesforce platform. Recently, Salesforce acquired that company, right? So if one of the client needs such kind of solutions, the customers also can try for that. Okay, but for your question, any industry uh, companies, 
they can use Salesforce. It's like that. Okay. Uh, so, so this maintenance, questions? yeah. So, so this maintenance applications and sales applications comes under the CRM only. Like it's, it's a sub part of CRM or what? Like how is this? Yeah, CRM means uh, right. So from what day to day interactions in the business, right? So in the CRM, so here whatever I explain, so all these are part of the CRM, right? If you want to divide this into different teams. Right, one is for marketing, and the other one for sales, and the other one for support. All those are part of the CRM only. Okay. 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 So now uh, let's uh, proceed further. Now the thing is, once after getting the job, right? Let's say what kind of job we get and what we need to do. So once we get the job with Salesforce, either we need to work on the configuration, using this configuration, develop the requirements, or using the customization development, we have to achieve the client requirements. Either you might be an administrator, a developer. So if you want to be a developer, administration is required. So it's not that directly you can focus on development and do the development on salesforce platform if you want to uh, grow as a developer you should also know the administration that is the prerequisite okay and also let's say there is a, a sales user joining in dell company and that user knows that dell company is using salesforce here right as the end user End users also should know maybe before joining in Dell, since Dell company is using Salesforce CRM, that user also maybe get to know so how Salesforce looks and how the process okay, that is one role, but mostly that for that people won't join for this course. Okay. The other roles, either if you want to grow as an administrator after getting the job. And configuring and uh, achieving the client requirement with point and click those kind of opportunities that's the main purpose of administration and development as a developer we should know both admin and as well as the development you will be having the capability to achieve the requirements which can be achieved with the development okay so developer will be having more scope in the market and more packages in the market when compared to the administrator and uh, some people let's say you are from qa background testing so they want to do or maybe in one of their project or while attending for interviews they are asking for salesforce testing so as a tester if you want to know about salesforce platform maybe for you also administration training is suitable right let's say you want to be like a business analyst in the company gathering requirements from the client and uh, you want to technically convert those requirements and uh, provide to the team those kind of people also for everyone mostly the administration course is the base so later development so if you know both you will be having more weightage in the market okay so just uh, that's what uh, so after getting the job we do so any questions i think uh, tomorrow i'll explain how the project starts right when you join in a company how the project starts where we work so here i am saying after registering we get production we should not work in production so where we work and uh, since we are not going to pay for a free account where we can register and uh, how we can use lifetime without expiring for 30 days so all those things i'll teach tomorrow and continue okay so next to two days also it's like we started our course we started from today itself and uh, today tomorrow also you can see and understand whether you are able to understand or not followed by regular sessions regular means again i'm not going to reach it will continue after the next session it's like that okay so before ending today so far any questions anyone 
uh, what's the cost duration sir like for admin and development sorry what cost duration yeah cost duration like cost duration is 3 months admin 1 month and the development 2 months okay okay and uh, yeah i i'm going to share this notes and the recording to your email okay first of three days i am going to share to your email later i'll explain how i'll provide access to all these things okay and also i think most of you some of you are saying you are not getting email so please check your spam folder okay in your inbox if you don't see the email check your spam folder and maybe you will see the email okay we will continue tomorrow thank you you going to have a question